everyone welcome back to my channel and to another Disney cruise line vlog I am still here in the middle of the ocean <laughs> on the UK Disney staycation magic at sea on the Disney magic I'm actually not sure which order that goes in <laughs> uh, I am on the test cruise uh, if you haven't seen all of the background and uh, the rest of these vlogs I will make sure they are linked below and they'll be in a playlist with this vlog as well so you can start off from scratch follow the whole journey <laughs> until now it is essentially the second vlog on day two I think that we're on right now uh, so it is middle of the day and uh, it's our day at sea uh, tomorrow sadly we are getting off the ship it's only a two night cruise uh, but we're gonna make the most of the rest of today so we're gonna go back up I think onto the top deck get a bit of sun uh, we've got our mix all also to go to and then uh, we're still not sure if we're going to go to the show or not and then we've got dinner at animators palette which I'm very excited for and um, also the England game is on today so we're going to try and squeeze in a little bit of football so Hannah can see how uh, her team gets on and uh, yeah I think we're going to enjoy some nighttime entertainment then as well so I better get cracking I think Hannah is probably ready now and uh, we're going to shoot up and try and catch some sun rays <laughs> I'm just outside the stateroom now <laughs> just waiting on Hannah and then we're going to head upstairs so uh, my stateroom is 70 70 it's a veranda stateroom it's very nice uh, there is a stateroom tour in one of the earlier vlogs and uh, we are not uh, technically midship I think we might be aft I get confused to be honest uh, but we're very close to the midship so like it tends to be the midship elevators and stuff that we go on uh, so yeah I think we are aft yeah we're more towards the aft but we're very close to the midship <laughs> and it's a really nice room like I say um, in my earlier vlog as well I didn't experience too much movement overnight and stuff so yeah I think it's a nice nice part of the ship to be in oh here's Hannah <laughs> we're ready Hi. just eating another throat sweet because oh. the aircon is like ruining my throat I know and it's kind of like dry. Uh, yeah dry cold aircon we're talking a lot we are talking a lot to each other to Have the camera <laughs> Right. And eating a lot. Oh my and God. I feel like I'm like my dad. What have I forgotten? <laughs> Every time I leave my stateroom, I'm paranoid that I've Did forgotten something. Sweet. Once you've got your stateroom key, though, then Look, you, at least you can get back, back in. Back. <laughs> So we're just coming in towards Keys where we've got our mixology. So uh, there's the three famous Phantoms Keys and Oak Gills Pub. We might be popping into Oak Gills Pub to try and catch a bit of football later. Hi, how are you? Oh, they've got Frozen. Frozen phrases. Oh, very exciting. This is one of my favorite things on the last cruise. Oh yeah, there is another shop. Mixology class. I have to say in the past it was a bit more interesting. Uh, why? Uh, because you were uh, a big part of the class as a guest. Yeah, so you were a guest. You go behind the bar, make some drinks, I will give you the instructions. But now due to the new rules and the protocols for your own safety as well, I had to make all of uh, the drinks uh, by myself actually if I do left and right hand, I like to call them, my two beautiful servers. Give a round of applause for Natalia and uh, As I said, my name is Marco, I'm coming from Montenegro. Uh, I've been working for Disney Cruise Line for, from 2009. Everybody can hear me, I know it's a little bit with a mask and this. If you have a face shield, nobody will hear me. Now I've got goggles, so it's, it's easy. Uh, from 2009, I've been on all four ships. I did a millions and millions of these uh, classes and I have to say this one is far the most interactive one uh, we'll try to do our best as well to play like this. am I clear enough yeah, yeah. yes okay. it'll be even better uh, just give me some, you know, some time <laughs> Do you think we've had enough champagne? This is going to be a struggle, it's liquid. So, yeah. champagne style cocktail. We've just finished the mixology session and we're going to go up to the top deck and probably get a little bit of food to help us digest all of that alcohol. <laughs> Uh, maybe some ice cream and some fresh air yeah we think all of those things will help because that was a lot of cocktails uh, we do just have to pop to guest services unfortunately um, my Paolo uh, brunch is showing up twice on the room so I just want to make sure we get that sorted and so it doesn't double charge because I imagine it'll be more of a pain to fix afterwards <laughs> so we'll get it sorted now and uh, yeah then hopefully get something to help 
so good for the alcohol. We just finished off with a, what was kind of like a Bailey's with something else and cinnamon and it's just burning my throat right now. <laughs> and it was good though, it kind of tasted like Christmas. Oh, get off. <laughs> we Oh, I feel like my dad. You alright, Anna? Yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> oh, oh, my back hurt. I ate. It's all good, guys. We have just come up to the top deck. Oh, wow, these guys are going for it with their swimming. Uh, we've just come up to the top deck. We're in Quiet Cove, which is the adult only area. It's absolutely dead because both the show and the first dinner seating is on right now. So, most people that are in the later dinner seating are at the show. But we've decided to forgo the show and we're uh, just chilling. Part of the, huh? Yes, we got some free charms. I'll show them to you when I'm back in the room later. Uh, but I have just picked up some grapes and uh, a little chicken Caesar wrap just to soak up all of the alcohol that we've just had. We've had a lot of alcohol in a very short space of time. So, uh, so yeah, we're just gonna chill here for a bit, I think. And um, we'll have a look at our navigator app. And the, <laughs> why are you laughing at It's like D without the all. So this is the freebie charm that Karen's going to show you. And it's like, what did he say? It was Diamonds Incorporated. International? International. Mm. Oh no, yeah. Incorporate. Oh. Yeah, international, I think you're right. But it's the D without the or. I'm just being silly. It guys. does look like Dior though. It's like similar text. It can it? go with my sexy sea bounds. Yeah. <laughs> They're working, I don't care. <laughs> okay, so we're chilling by the pool, like I said. Uh, one thing that we have noticed, which I definitely think is something to be aware of is if you are chilling on the top deck like we are there is only one station that will actually give you the soda drinks like the fountain drinks and water and it's right back by cabana so where the adult section is is the other side of the ship and then earlier we noticed there was queues and stuff for that section so um definitely that's something to bear in mind because earlier we were like honestly parched for water because we've been sat out in the sun and we tried like quite a few places and everybody was sort of saying oh no you can't get it here or you can get it here but we charge you extra for it so i guess it was maybe bottled water or something uh but yeah just something to be aware of is that like maybe so we actually brought some water on board with us and i would maybe like carry around a bottle of water if you're maybe gonna sit out in the sun or just preemptively go to cabanas and fill up on some water <laughs> and bring it with you because yeah it was definitely an inconvenience for us earlier when we were uh, sat out in the sun for ages and we were like parching for some water. So guys, we actually just spent the last probably half an hour <laughs> with our feet in the hot tub. It was so, so nice. The hot tub is super warm and nice. Now the bubbles uh, for the hot tub weren't working, but it was grand because we just like left our feet in there. It kept us nice and warm. We had a few cold breezes coming through, but we were like so warm with our feet. And I was like dipping my hands and stuff into the water as well. But yeah, it was really nice good idea if you're thinking you want like a little bit of a pool experience but you know you're not brave enough to <laughs> head into the pool when it's that cold out just back in the stateroom to get ready for dinner and uh i've got a lovely tail animal i think this is a frog <laughs> certainly looks like it with the eyes and stuff on top uh, but let me know if i've got that wrong because <laughs> sometimes i get these very wrong definitely looks like a frog to me i think especially with how the legs are like tucked under at the back so you may have noticed if you've been on a Disney cruise before that I haven't mentioned the chocolate. So normally when you get turned down service on the Disney cruise, you will also get a Ghirardelli chocolate. Um, unfortunately, they don't seem to be doing that. I don't know if that's just because it's the test cruise or uh, yeah, because they've just stopped it altogether. So fingers crossed it comes back because I miss my Ghirardelli chocolate. <laughs> Um, yeah, I hope they do bring it back and uh, maybe it's just that they haven't got it for this particular cruise. So yeah, hopefully they do because it's such a nice thing to come back. Like, you know, you come back to your room, your bed's all turned down, which they've obviously done in the towel animal and everything, but then just having the two little Ghirardelli chocolates as well is such a nice little touch. So we're just heading into the D lounge. We've got a nice family fun event on, a game show. So we're going to give it a go, see what it's like. Mickey and we're going to look big waves. Well, everyone, thank you so much for coming to our Family Time Game Show. Pluto and Captain Nick, we know you're very busy, so we hope you enjoy the rest of your day and have a great time around the ship. Okay, everyone put one hand in the air, say goodbye, Pluto. Goodbye, Nicky, and we will see you around the ship. They brought the characters out at the end of that show, which is exactly what they did when we got to see Chip and Dale yesterday. But it was a bit odd because they um, kind of put the like marker down where you would go and take the selfie, but then 
the characters just came out and then left like 20 seconds later and just waved at us so I'm not sure what happened there but it does seem like characters do show up at the end of some of the shows uh, and just in general unfortunately like, there's not been character photo opportunities at all really like other than when we first got on the ship and uh, yeah like the Chip and Dale we managed to grab at the end of a show yesterday and uh, like I say just now they they did bring out Mickey and Pluto and oh they look so cute as well in their captain outfits and Hannah was so excited to see Pluto because she was saying that was the one character she really wanted to get a photo with but uh, yeah I don't know uh, it's a bit strange uh, that they came out but didn't take photographs but maybe uh, they're still working out some of those kinks so hopefully uh, next time it'll be uh, sorry we're just outside the pub actually and it looks like the pub is closed <laughs> yeah it's at capacity okay that makes sense I guess the football's on but this is the Irish pub, unfortunately. It is full. So guys, we were just sat down in the, oh, it's gonna be lame, just a uh, watching the football, but we're actually gonna head off to dinner now because we're late. <laughs> we're like five minutes late because we were just watching the football. Uh, I forget the name of this thing. Oh, here it is, up here. Promenade Lane, that's where we were. So the same place as where we drew Iron Man earlier today. But yeah, we're going to Animator's Palette now. So uh, yeah, we're gonna head on up there. Here we are, guys. <laughs> They've got all these cool drawings around the floor, guys. So cool, it looks so shiny and new back here. <laughs> The drawings are so cool. It reminds me of Art of Animation, actually, in um, Disney World. Thank you. It's so cool. This is really good. This is giving me lots, lots of good Disney feels. <laughs> really nice. Lots of drawings, even it. So we're seated now at Animators and Palette, and uh, I've drawn what is kind of like a creepy girl in a park. <laughs> She's got the creepiest smile and then she's got a little Mickey bar in one hand and some popcorn in the other and kind of like a polka dot dress on. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. Hannah has gone for an England football player. It's fun colour though. Yeah, but it looks good. It looks good. It's like a job. I'm interested to see the England football player dance around. <laughs> You're not allowed to put any like, names or numbers on anything. Yeah. Which I didn't realise. It's all good. Maybe I can write like 10. I've done it now. I'm just looking at you. It says like Hannah four. It's like it was drawn by a four-year-old child. But <laughs> that's our table. <laughs> oh! I was like four. Hannah four. I'm <laughs> 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 to take a photo with it. Like photo guy coming up and you're like, yeah. No one's buying that picture. No, no. <laughs> So here's the little setting. So we've got this cute napkin folded and then we've got these butter knives. Myself and Hannah actually purchased one of these earlier in the gift shop. Uh, they're actually quite a decent price. I think it was like, what? $9.99 yeah. or something. Yeah. We just got some bread service and then it comes with this garlic spread, uh, which looks really nice. Well, I think I'm definitely gonna try a bit of the focaccia. <laughs> I got the, the, the 
toffee date pudding. I think this is basically like a sticky toffee pudding with ice cream. And uh, then I got the, well, we got the cheesecake to share, kind of, I think. I don't know. Um, which is, I can't remember what this was. Toffee? Oreo? Oreo. No. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I can't remember. Did we order a Sunday? No, no, he recommended the Sunday, but we didn't get it. Oh, Did you okay. want a Sunday? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want a carrot. I want a carrot cake. <laughs> she got like shaved carrot. Um, but yeah, this is a, I think this is pretty much sticky toffee, but it looks just like it. And it's warm as well. back up to the room quickly uh, I want to just brush my teeth so I can put my braces back in Jeff, and uh, seven. I also my phone has died so I'm going to just grab my phone charger I literally have like barely used my phone but um because obviously like you don't have signal on them so that's been really nice however uh, you do have to use your phone for pretty much anything on the ship. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to like, walk in the complete wrong way. Um, you do have to use your phone for like everything on the ship, like I was saying earlier, in terms of like menus and stuff. So having a dead phone's not ideal. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go back and just grab the portable charger for it. But yeah, it's kind of been nice to disconnect, you know? No access to work messages. <sighs> So nice. No access to WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube comments, like everything is just switched off. And uh, yeah, it's nice. It kind of forces you to really be present and, you know, not distracted by these things. So uh, we do take out the phones obviously to look at the navigator to see what activities and stuff are coming up. But yeah, definitely a lot less screen time than when you have internet and you're just browsing and stuff like that. So this is Rapunzel's Royal Table, which is the one uh, place that we didn't have dinner in on this cruise. So let's just walk in and take a little look. Oh, it's so cool. Look at all the lanterns. Oh, the decor is amazing. Oh, I love the theme in here. It's so nice. Hopefully I'll get to do this one then on my next cruise. Fingers crossed. Right, we've come in to watch the England game. We made it for extra time and uh, it's an England penalty, so. You think you might even want a super game? No. So the game just finished and England did win. So that penalty was the only goal in extra time. So, I mean, you guys know this. I don't need to tell you this. Uh, but for us, it's brand new information. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, Hannah was saying, she thinks, well, uh, so, so when is the final? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. This Sunday. Oh yeah, so this vlog is probably going to go back to the final as well. So yeah, you guys will already know uh, if England managed to finally do what they sing about and bring football 
help. I feel like Mickey should come out in football. Yeah, it would be good actually. I got to meet Mickey in his book kit uh, when I did the marathon. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he was out in ESPN. Aww. It was really cool. They had a, they had a goofy within like a tracksuit and like sport. yeah. We love sport. Yeah, sport. we're so sporty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna head up to the room and just chill and get a Mickey bar and maybe I'll just step out on the balcony for a bit. I mean, unfortunately, it's very you can't really vlog I'm on the balcony because uh, it just looks like pitch black. But when I was out. The curtain, the light. Oh yeah, yeah, oh I can do that. But then, I, then I, can you, you probably can't pick up what's outside because when I went out in the balcony last night, I could see all the stars. Ooh. Like it was really nice. So, I, but I don't think the camera picked it up. Maybe it did. I'll find out in editing. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna just head up the rooms. We are shattered. Like it has been. Uh, it's got. It has felt like quite a long day today, hasn't it? Um, so yeah, we're quite tired. It's about quarter to twelve. Quarter to eleven. Yeah. Oh, quarter to eleven. Oh, so it's not even that late, Anna. It's late enough. I'm so tired. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's quarter to midnight. It's time to go to bed. <laughs> okay, so apparently it's you know it's only quarter to eleven. And uh, but we do have to get up early tomorrow because uh, we need to be. We booked our train for nine o'clock. Um, they are allowing us to stay on longer than what we thought. However, we're gonna stick with our original train because we do actually dock up, I think, around 6 a.m. and uh, we'll just get off in time to get our train. So probably like four past, 20 past eight and then get a taxi back to the station. So yeah, the plan is to get up and actually have breakfast before that. So anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna get myself back to the room and I'll uh, talk to you guys then. <laughs> I've got a very shiny face. <laughs> I've just taken my makeup off and then I just put some uh, oil and moisturizer on and I'm just in bed relaxing and I've got my Mickey 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 premium ice cream bar that I ordered through the room service. The lady was so nice for room service. She was talking me through the whole menu saying, oh, are you sure you don't want anything else? You've got all these other things. And there's actually a really, really good selection through room service. So if you do fancy ordering room service, definitely check out the menu because there's so many options from like burgers to chicken nuggets, salads, soups, fresh sandwiches. Honestly, I think it'd be a really good shout for lunch actually uh, because... Yeah, I think, you know, if you've been to Cabanas for breakfast and you want to try something else for lunch, I would definitely recommend checking out the room service menu. And uh, plus being that you can then get a Mickey premium ice cream bar. So I know I showed you guys <laughs> my ice cream bar yesterday, but there you go. There it is again. Is it upside down? It is upside down. <laughs> there it is. I'm so excited. I'm going to talk into it because I am very much looking forward to it. I just finished my Mickey bar, it was so good. Uh, I'm actually now watching Raven's Home on the TV, uh, which is, that's a Raven, but it's the newer series where she's uh, a mother, like she's got her kids and everything, she's all grown up. <laughs> um, but I used to love that show. Uh, but yeah, if you go onto the television in your stateroom, you'll see that there's some on-demand TV shows and that's where I'm watching that. The little TV as well pulls out so you can kind of turn it to face you, which is really handy. And with that, I will leave this vlog here. And in tomorrow's vlog then, uh, we'll be getting up having breakfast and getting off the ship but also then I'll share with you some kind of like a summary of the trip and also some tips if you are coming on one of these trips yourself and some recommendations etc. I took some time as well today to just take a sort of screen video of the cruise navigator the app so that you can see the kind of things that were on during the days while we were here and yeah then we'll just be getting the train back to London 
back to normality uh but yeah i've had such a lovely time and uh i'm very tired right now so i'm gonna get myself some sleep well i'm probably gonna watch a little bit more raven <laughs> and then get myself to sleep and i will see you guys in the next vlog bye